New boots on the beat, but a growing threat of blue flu. Today, the latest batch of reserve Garthi graduated from Temple Moor. They now make up 10% of the Garda force, with limited powers including communications and event policing. The Justice Minister, Alan Shatter, joined the Garda Commissioner, Martin Callanan, to oversee today's ceremony, which brings the number of reserve Garthi to almost 1,000. It's six years since the first Garda Reserves graduated. These new recruits will be deployed across the country, working for a minimum of four hours a week. But both Garda representative bodies are warning that morale in those Garda stations is at an all-time low. Commissioner Callanan has agreed to meet with the Garda Representative Association after it suggested he was unaware of the impact of pay cuts. There is a growing concern that discontent will eventually lead to a blue flu, with members already understood on a regional level to have agreed to industrial action. The Commissioner rejected a suggestion he was a pawn for the government and said he didn't believe industrial action was inevitable. My, my role as Commissioner is a statutory role. It's an independent role from the role of the Minister. Uh, and they're entirely two different and separate entities. And I want to assure my members, particularly the younger members, that I'm fully aware and fully alert to all of the difficulties that they're experiencing at this point in time. The GRA has also passed a motion of no confidence in the minister, but Alan Shatter insisted that engaging with Crow Park discussions would be more constructive. I do live in the real world, and I'm saying to members of the GRA and the AGSI, if you have genuine concerns, which I know you have, I know your members have those concerns because I meet members of the force on a daily basis, engage in the talks process. That is the way to ensure those concerns are addressed. The Justice Minister said these new reservists will play an important role, but reiterated his hints that recruitment for new full-time Gardaí will be necessary to keep numbers above 13,000.